Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to start a Let's Play series on Earthwork the Desolation. So this is a Steam game and it's actually kind of similar to Battle Brothers, except instead of being a low medieval world, this is a low fantasy world. So I put in, let's say, a few hours into the game so far, less than 10, let's say, and uh, lost my first campaign. So, but I did learn quite a bit from it. So I'm ready to try again and start with a Let's Play series. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to play on the veteran difficulty level this time. And uh, eventually the goal is to be able to play on, of course, the desolation difficulty level. But veteran would be good for me at this point, I feel. I've mostly learned what I need to do. And Urturk is your main character. In my opinion, he's probably best in a Hunter class. As a, because Hunter class, the ranged characters are probably your best DPS characters in this game. Other than that, for the starting characters, I think I'm going to bring... Uh, I'm going to bring a healer, Priest, to heal up my other characters. And for the last character, I'm just going to make it... A footman okay. because I kind of like what they can do with the ram skill in terms of pushing enemies around so this is gonna be my characters I bring in terms of the skills that are the items you can choose these items are mutator items and they give various special effects to your characters in my opinion the best things to bring in the early game is probably athletic mind of the cleric and then one of either Bleeding poisonous critical or bleeding critical. Okay. I'm just going to choose poisonous, but I'll eventually want the bleeding one as well. Okay. You're going to want both on most of your archers. So I've, I like to start this way, and I'm going to begin. So Iron Man mode, your progress will be saved automatically. No manual saving is allowed. Sure, whatever. Let's call it live stream, I guess, and begin. In a dim prism called the Sanatorium, far underground, far from the light, the medical alchemist performs his experiments on unwilling subjects. Here in this grim cell begins the story of Urturk. For many years was Urturk bound to the alchemist's workbench, but on this day his fortunes would change. Ferocious blows, the heavy prison door shudders in its frame. Eldrick, Urtuk's friend from the world above. I brought weapons. Here, take them, Eldrick shouts. Hurry, there are too many to kill them all. Too late. The sanatorium guards have been summoned. Thank you for the rescue, Eldrick, but you've been badly wounded. Don't worry about me. Just let's get out of here. We need to head east. To here. When we all reach this location, we'll be safe. But we need to kill these two guards. <laughs> so he just knocks the enemy right to the death. So there are these death zones where if you knock enemies into them, they will die. Okay. So, interesting thing. I'm just gonna move Urtuk up. And maybe I'll just move and swap positions here. And wait. And I'm gonna have my footmen move up and also swap positions. So, attack. Now, interesting thing is, if your characters have this light foot talent, they can swap and not end turn. Characters without it, though, will basically be forced to end turn. So. It's a nice advantage if your characters have light foot. In fact, it is, I find it's recommended to get everyone light foot if you can. Well, let's move up. Let's. Why don't I just cast Aegis on him to make him survive? I'm just gonna swap and run.
maybe wait here. So the Aegis protects against the next attack. That's why Eldrick lived. We'll just run here. Maybe blast away at him. And if I just swap him in, I can move over here. Hurry up, I'll hold them back. We'll meet again someday, my friend. Let's just wait here. I'll cast Aegis one more time. And move further back. Move further back. And then run and win. As Berturk, you were imprisoned deep below ground in the sanatorium. For many years, the corrupt alchemists conducted hideous experiments on your body. As a result, you have suffered a dreadful mutation. Now, finally, you escaped the underground and must undertake a perilous journey in search of the cure for your affliction. You don't know the, its exact location, so you need to look for clues in the villages after you take them over. In this zone, the Badlands, you must fight your way through the scavengers, ragtag gangs of bandits and thugs, lurking in ambush for unwary travelers. Also remember that the medicine needed to heal your injuries is extremely rare. Some though can be purchased in the black market. Okay. Interesting. Fair enough. So... Kitten the Berserker and Rielda the Javanir. And there over here is Herda the Guardian. Alright, so you can have up to six characters that you use in your party. You could have more characters in the party, but only six can be used. First things first, I'm going to equip these new items that I just picked up. And I think I'm probably going to want, let's say... Crit Strike doesn't really matter. Maybe I'll replace it with the Last Stand Focus ability. And here, I guess I'm going to add the Agility item, add the Poison item. And I got Mind of the Cleric as well to give someone. Maybe I'll just give it to my Priest. Right? Concentration. Concentration increases focus gain. Okay, so that looks good. We can work with this. And now, let's begin with attacking the first location that I can. You clearly recognize the adventurers behind the barricade, defending against scavengers. Will you help these poor souls? Easy battle. Yes, of course I'll help them. So, two characters, and there's five enemies. So, it, this is kind of like a 5v5, actually. Let's start the battle. Travelers, we fall into dire circumstances. Can you aid us against these savages? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Swapping. All right. So if I move back and swap him, then I can move over here and go one, two, three, four. Wait. No, I can't. Darn it. Okay. Still in range to attack. That's what I wanted, anyways. So I'm going to swap him up, swap him up, and place my healer here for now. And then I can move up and strike. steal him to buff him up priests are kind of interesting their skills use up their hit points Let's see 25% of max hit points 40% of max hit points and so on 
Zerker Duelist just got some big hits in. Fortunately. And my foot is a level up from that. Maybe I'll move up. Life steal. And we're gonna be leaving. Joined your party, and I gotta steal helmet out of it. So right away, I can get a tire. After every battle, you'll get some rewards like what I just saw, and you all always get a bit of trillium and life essence. The life essence is used to extract mutators from fallen enemies. So you can, for example, these ones cost forty-four and they're a bit too expensive for me to extract, unfortunately. But I could extract a light foot and range support. Both are good, right? I've already said light foots are pretty clutch. As for range support, I'm gonna need it. So I'm gonna extract the range support first. And toss it onto my main character. Because it allows your range characters to support attack your characters who attack in the melee. Really, really useful. And I'm gonna give a steel helmet Big improvements on the Iron Helmet, 85 to 166. So, got some good equipment out of this. Alright. I would have loved to get a Bleeding Critical as well as Lightfoot. You know, Lightfoot onto Yig. Bleeding Critical ideally given to Urturk as well, but I'll work without it. So, for now, I'm just going to be 
reserve this guys. You just want to reorder my characters by highest to lowest agility. So 32, 19. Let's put him in battle and put this guy in battle. So they're ordered from fastest to slowest. Next, I can get some war monks in the north. Or I can pick up a guardian in the south. I think I'm gonna go for the guardian first and in the village. So let's sneak in and rescue him. And there he is. So I'm fighting against one, two, three, four, five, six enemies. That's fine. All right, so let's. Get started. Hey, over there. I need your help to get out of here. My leg is badly injured and I can't walk. Please come rescue me. Be wary of these monsters. They seem to sleep. But if you come close, they will attack. Okay. So I'm going to want to trigger them one at a time, actually. Maybe I'll place myself here and just re attack. Similarly, place my second archer here. Wait. And I'm going to swap positions like so. Basically, triggering him to come close. So I'll swap again, maybe move up. Oh, that didn't work. I was hoping to move further up that hill. So I guess I'll have to swap one more time. And if I really attack, I'll get some support strikes there. Now I don't want to trigger this guy because I want to kill them one at a time. So if I hover over here, yeah, so won't work. I'll just wait here, I guess. Let's try it. I'm gonna swap once, swap twice, move back, fire. corner but I don't think that will work in this battle so I'm just going to move back and maybe cast a life steal on him and on my archer. I will wait now I'm going to have him ram this guy back knocking him out of the way and again I don't want to trigger this guy so we'll just stand here and wait and I'm going to have my archer set up at the top there and fire I'm leaving you think you can leave just as when you say you want to leave no way Dreaming if you think I'll let you leave like this. But this guy has provoke. I'm just gonna swap my characters around a little. Let them get up to high ground to fight. So, to kill, like that, perfect. 
get my second archer maybe up there and then set up for them to approach something like this To trigger that guy, so I'll attack from here. Healing out of it. I swap. Get a second attack in. And some extra ranged fire. Kill off the second one. And then draw in the third. Flesh piece, whatever, toxic piece. Probably keep casting life steals in this fight. <laughs> Oh, nope, they're all coming now. So I'm gonna move back. Start retreating. support attack from my leader, I am actually managing to crush them pretty well. There we go. Down, but there's no support from the Javelinier right now. Bad news, archers. So let's go after that archer first, I think. Maybe not. And I can crit hit. If you surround them, the characters surrounding will get crit hits. So it's a nice little bonus. Death 
already enjoying me. And now I can pick up... Oh boy, there's always good things to buy and it's always tough. So, first let's look at Urturk. So, with him, every crossbow fire uses 50 stamina. So I actually want to maximize my stamina to get as much support attacks and so on as I possibly can. So it's going to be balancing agility with strength, I feel. Now, let's add strength, but focus more on agility. I think that's the important thing. Get the agility up first. That way I can fire more. Like, I want 152 stamina, I feel. As for the healer. Even though the healer loses hit points based on percentage, in order to keep the healer alive, it needs a lot of health anyways. So that's the basic goal. I think that you want like 82 stamina early on, but you're going to primarily go for health. So I'm just going to get to 82 stamina first so that I can attack twice with melee attacks. And then after that, I'm going to go pretty much full health build. And as for the item that I want, let's see, unbreakable, unwavering, strong versus monsters, and something. I'm going to probably want the stalwarts, but I also want the acid. And poisonous criticals are always a nice thing to have. I already have one though. So I think stalwarts prevent you from being pulled, and that can save your character's lives. Right. If they can't be moved by the enemy into the death zones, that will save you. So I'm going to buy these stalwarts first. Right. Priority is going to keep characters alive in my opinion, and then the other stuff after that. So let's continue. And then we're gonna go attack the village at this point, aren't we? It'll be five again. I only have five characters, but uh, I think it'll be an okay fight. So, because the longer, the more days pass, the stronger the enemies get. So, one thing about this fight is if I display the elevation levels. In order to move up, it has to be one within one number. Like if you're at tile seven, you can't move up to tile nine. So you have to go seven, eight, nine, for example. So that's important because it determines kind of where you can deploy your characters. Like for example, if I deploy here, I can't come up. So four, five, 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 six, seven. Let me just remove this. You can kind of come up here, but you'll move through the burning pitch. So it might be best to just move up on this side. Yeah. And I'm just gonna double check their agility. Let's reserve this guy and put him in again. Let's give this guy a stalwart item. I don't really care if, for now. Okay, we're good. Okay. So I think we can move like this and let's begin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once again, taking a look. Four, five, six, and then seven, and then eight, nine up there. So I have to come up this path. These two will be stuck there for now. And we'll swap here for now. Again, and move a little bit further. 
murderer. Something like this. And I can ring attack. Right? So next. Is the healer who is just gonna hang back? Move up here like this. Uh -oh. Let's just swap them one last time. Deflection! <laughs> Alright, and then I'm going to have to start life stealing. This one off. Life still. Wait. There we go. <laughs> that guy killed it for me. Works for me. Why don't I swap him out? And... healer right now. What if I just run him away? A very ugly battle right now. <laughs> Javelin near the falls. That's okay, though.
two characters down. Fight started off strong, but then I got caught. And then things went bad. Guys alive, barely. So, save 3 of 3, get 54 life essence, 2 characters damage though. I don't know if that was great or not. In terms of items to buy, I'm gonna get another range support and the light foot. So, I'm gonna have to use up my 2 medicines to heal them. Healing, healing. If you're low on medicines, you can make more. You need two special resources, blood and flesh, to create medicines. Okay. So I'm gonna give this, and I'm going to give one of the Lightfoots, probably to Yig. For now, leveling up. So I'm gonna go three more. Right? As I said, I want like 150 stamina. Maybe I'll start focusing on damage. Anyways, um, 40, 80. We, I can probably leave it at 82 for now, I guess. Well, let's level them up a bit. And it's going to be all health for my healer to make sure it lives. Meanwhile, for this guy, I mentioned I need lots and lots of stamina for the counterattacks. Right? The bill hook engaging strikes use 25 stamina each. If I want three of them, it's 75 stamina plus let's say 40 or 50 right so 50 plus 125 stamina is what i need so work towards that and we're going to ignore the rest of these items 
During your travels, you hear talk of a secret entrance to a huge swamp cavern located in one of the villages. We should keep an eye out for that village because the cure that Urtuk needs... Or because the cure for Urtuk will probably not be found in this zone. Okay. So let's search this site. You arrive at the village, what do you do? Daily resources earned from this village will eventually decline to zero. Once you've eliminated the thugs who took over the village, an old man approaches you. Thank you for freeing my people. I'm with Vera Torax, the local shaman. Please accept this medicine as a sign of our gratitude. You explain your strange illness to him and ask if he can help. Hmm, your condition is both baffling and terrifying. I am sorry, but a cure is beyond my skills as a healer. I can, however, tell you that your mutation will progress over time, but will not kill you. The shaman continues, I don't believe the cure will be found in this zone. I heard, however, that beneath one of the villages is a secret entrance to a huge swamp cavern. That is what you should be looking for. Okay. So overall, got a party of four. There's a war monk up here that I can probably capture and will probably need. So I'll probably head in that direction. So let's just head there, and then over there, day 6, and then we'll head to the Troubled Mercenary Battle the next day. But that is it for this first video. Got three battles in, cleared out a bunch of things, my party has slowly built up, right? they're all healing up now, although I, I only have one medicine left, and we'll see how things go. Thanks for watching everyone! Nitro out.